Hey, good morning everyone. So, welcome to another episode of Icarus. In our last episode, we have built this base and we spent the first day of the Icarus. So, today's plan is to go into a cave and we'll level up, we'll mine some ores and we'll bring those iron ores back to our base. I am cooking some meat here, uh, those will be very useful to sustain my hunger. So I have created this boxes as well, uh, so that I can put some items in it. I need a clean inventory in my backpack, so that I can bring more ores from the mines or caves. In cave you probably need some uh, some ramps so that you can uh, reach higher nodes. It is very difficult to climb otherwise. So I am going to the cave present at this location. I am sort of oxygen so I will mine some oxide here and uh, that will be used in the cave. So I am gathering some fibers and I am going to use these things to grab uh, bandages and so that I can get some EXP out of it. So I am level up to 4 and I got 3 meeting points and 2 talent points and 1 solo point. Let's uh, use those talent points. We can craft the cloth armor now because we have 6 points available and we need armor. In cave it will be very dark so we need some kind of light so torch will be very helpful. In talents we can take uh, maximum stamina. Solo point I will use it for the movement speed. So I have crafted a lot of bandages. Now let's destroy those things and recraft again. Now otherwise let's craft this armor first. I need more fiber. So I have crafted full set of cloth armor. Uh, those things will give me some protection and also give 5% of movement speed. I see a bear um, along the shore of the river. Those buffaloes are not that much aggressive until you hit them. The cave must be here somewhere. So this is the very first cave. Uh, you will get these ores, you can pretty much headshot them, they will die sometimes in two shots. Let's collect our arrow. In some caves you will find deep mining deposits where you can use some drills to get infinite amount of material. Let's mine some iron ore and copper ore. 
currently I'm not able to use this source but uh, it will give me experience point because of that I'm mining it and uh, we will keep it in the storage use it when we will reach at level 10 Like this, I have reached level 5. When you are level 5, you can craft um, bone arrows, and those are better than the stone arrows. I'll put um, the talent points in the dance stacking, which will give me some weight capacity. Bone sickle, bone knife, and bone arrows will be much better option than stone ones so i think we are done with the air one of talent tree we will not use any points until we reach tier 2 So I have almost completed mine all the um, iron copper nodes and we will go back to our base. I did some hunting, gathering, mining and this level 6. Now I have come to this mine again and I am trying to reach level 7 as soon as possible. Now onwards we have only one goal to reach level 10 that will open up a whole new perspective of this game. So you need to be very careful. Like this I reached level 7. You need to kill this boss because they will give back which will give you some like, experience buff. Then uh, we will skip this night today and we will start tomorrow. So there is a storm going on today and we will go to another cave and we will farm some more iron and copper then we might reach level 10.
So I found a whole lot of food. So now I'm going to another cave located in this spot. And this path is very deadly and there are some bears spawn here. Uh, I have died in previous games. So I reached level 8 after killing this wolf. Let's kill this more. So this is the uh, deep mining deposit here. So this one gold which is pretty good. This gold is used for uh, electronics and we can craft a lot of electronics using this. Let's clear this cave. So now I have this level and one more level to go. So when we are reaching level 10, we need lot of room to store our crafting bench and storage boxes. So let's expand this space a little bit. Okay, we survived this tour and I have repaired all the uh, broken walls and floors. I need to hunt some more animals so, so that I can level up up to 10. So I'll do some mining and do plumbing so that I can get to level 10. Okay, we didn't get to level 10 last night so I'm trying to hunt some animals. We will reach level 10 now. Probably I I can kill that bear. Maybe uh, he might not be able to climb here. 
step bear uh, pretty easy maybe uh, your movement speed will help but you can definitely side step so that uh, I can't put him on his head if you get some heads up you will kill him pretty quickly so I'm out of my arrow right now I can't shoot uh, let's do a nice to They are pretty slow in the uh, water, so let's use this to our advantage. We like it. Like so, you will reach level 10. It was pretty close, um, I could have died there, but luckily we managed to kill that bear. So let's see what we got in our talent tree. So now tech 3 will take uh, the kit, medical kit, so that we can uh, recover from our wound. So uh, the crafting bench is required. We need this furnace definitely. We need uh, oxide dissolver. This thing will give you um, oxygen by um, it will extract from the oxide. Contact device will be used for the uh, for the missions. We'll be definitely doing some missions to level up. Herbalism bench uh, is required to craft some uh, medicines like these tonics and. Uh, no motor rank pistol also very very much required you need to craft those steel beams and steel blue ranching station is required for acquiring mounts uh, there you can craft necessary items to tame any uh, animals
good cupboard is for storage those are the storage solution early to mid game let's see what we can take we can take textile bench uh, if you do not have any survival backpack you can craft those textile bench and craft those um, backpack I'll take a motor investor, I'll learn epoxy and crossbow. Uh, this water canteen and uh, water skin and oxygen bladder will be uh, required if you don't have um, oxygen tank and the canteen to get some uh, better tools like iron nets and iron pickets we need a wheel bench and we definitely need, uh, need iron knife and like so we have crafted our bench let's put it here just behind this uh, this window here we can craft this oxide dissolver this will extract oxide oxygen from the oxide now we don't have to worry about the oxygen anymore because the oxygen tank will be full and we can use it for a long time it will take sulfur and oxide so let's gather some more stone so that we can craft the furnace like so we have crafted our furnace to deploy it here Let's craft the anvil bench. It required uh, 40 iron, so we will wait. So our iron is ready. We can use this and we will get the anvil bench. Let's craft the anvil bench. Now we can craft the new tier tools like iron pickaxe and iron axe. Those are very very useful and we can use it for a long time. We need to craft some um, nails for our tools. Now let's craft this um, axe and pickaxe. We will have our iron tools. One of this and one of that. Okay, see you guys in the next episode.